Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadows of Mordor. Alright, when we left off, we were looking at his ugly mug mainly because when I loaded up the game, we had an uglier motherfucker right over there. So, now we're going to run a little bit and get off. The beast you are hunting is nearby. I, I didn't know I was hunting a beast, but uh, I'll do it. An herb you need is nearby. Okay, you can do that too. But first, take out this guy, because he's right here. And down it goes. And dead. Okay. But, uh, yeah, apparently there's a big old cave troll, or something like it, causing a little bit of havoc. Oh, yeah, he's causing a lot of havoc. He's killing a bunch of killed a bunch of Uruks here. Let's see if we can put a couple arrows in the brain pan here. There we go. Oh, it's a growl. Okay. Alrighty, in that case. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could press buttons as quick time events to take this guy out. Oh, geez. Oh, good lordy. Ow. That was possibly the most ill-conceived idea I had <laughs> out of all of them. An unknown Uruk promoted to captain. Okay. He uh, took the place of the one we killed here, uh, Gimub, I'm pretty sure. That's the one we killed. But he is not the current target. Ratbag is. However, we're not going after him right yet because he seems to be having his own little thing. So, I'm just going to end up these towers of there. Silver. They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees, and memories of a lost kingdom. That is very deep. A lost kingdom that used to be within Mordor, maybe? Well, if you know the lore, then you know what's going on. I have a slight grasp on it. <laughs> I did not go into it as deeply as I have for other particular things, but uh, I, I, I know the gist of most of it. Uh, but I like the game simply because it looks cool. Now, I'm trying to figure out where I should probably go, and the best place I can think of is, considering Ratbag's over here, and we have an Uruk captain that's also up here that we need to deal with, I figure we might as well just go this direction. Go in the little bit this way. So I'm gonna pop this as the waypoint and that should yeah get me pointed in that direction. Alright, that looks good. Off we go. Whee! Okay. Yep, I am and so are you in a couple seconds. <laughs> Look that. Uh oh. oh. Got another one. A bit of a torch here. And down you're gonna go real quick. Okay, that didn't work out like I planned. Oh well. And down you're gonna eventually go. There we go. Perfect. It helps when I know what I'm doing. Which uh, sometimes I don't. Alright. Uh, this is... Oh, I can use this. What is this? Pipeweed. I do need to collect that. So that's a good thing to be able to do. Alrighty. Now, I think we should probably head there in earnest now. Probably run it a little bit. Try and avoid, you know, the big old raving, not raving, roving, but close enough. There, there are parties of Uruks running around being, you know, jackasses, doing ever whatever the fuck they do. Okay, this will work. Alright. Maybe we can get him over to here. Maybe. Yep, he's wandering over. Which means... Kill you dead! <laughs> Resistance, now available. Please help me rescue my brother. He's far too stubborn to work for these Uruk. Yeah, and he'd probably get the uh, beaten dead, huh? Yeah, most likely. Okay, there's another green thing over here. I wonder if this is 
Something I need. Probably not. Check it, just to make sure. Earth bread. Okay, we've already collected this sort of thing. Alright. Uh, I think I should just run it. Sprint my way over to that side. It, I mean, it, it works. And thus far, I'm not yeah, seeing any sort of threat. Right, okay, I spoke a little too soon. Okay, let's take out this guy. If I can get the headshot right. There we go. Perfect. And we got a guy up on the tower. That I can see. Okay. Well, one of them may have heard me, or at least the one that was on the tower. And I'm hearing a lot of chatter from these guys. Oh, I can enter the Wraith world to do that thing. Worms will expose the captain's weaknesses when interrogated. Oh. I can see that... I should be doing this thing more often. I really should be doing it more often. Keep your eyes open for that Alright, just kill this guy. Goodbye. Alrighty. And we'll kill this guy just to start off this little fight. Or not. In fact, it seems done nothing but that. Okay, there we go. Now it's actually some fighting. And kill this guy. There we go. And there we go. Ooh, that did not look good. And down he goes. And you go next. And you're dead. Whoops. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's just kill off some of these guys. There we go. Oh, and your head is gone. And beat you a little bit. Oh, damn it. I was trying not to hit him, so I was not paying attention as much to him as I should have been. Okay, take out a couple of these guys. And you're gone. Goodbye. Okay. There we go. Goodbye. And deal with a couple more of these. And this guy. Okay, you're down. And ooh, <laughs> ooh, that looked like it hurt. And again, it was supposed to. There we go. Okay, knock you away. Take out this guy. Okay, let's try not to kill this guy and get kill this one. There we go. Perfect. Well, I can. Problem is, I don't want to. But at least for most of you. By most, I mean one of you. But, out of the good ones, that means most of you. And your hand is gone. Goodbye. Alright. Okay. There we go. Oh, geez. That didn't work out. Oh, well. And down you go. And, whoop, there we go. Block you. Man, that rain is coming down really hard. Good lord. And your head is gone. That was really risky. Okay. I think the uh, worm actually ended up being uh, frightened away a bit. So I might need to hunt him down a little bit. Okay. Oh, come on. These buttons are just really finicky sometimes. I think I've scared enough of them away. Okay. Have fun with trying to do that anyway. Oh, that was... That was absolutely on time. The game just doesn't like me. I swear, that's what the issue is. Not that I'm bad or anything. No, not at all. Okay. And down you go. And kill you dead. Ooh, yeah. That was glorious. Alright, let's head over to that health over here. So I could use that. Alright. There's a worm over here again. I wonder how that happened. 
Alright, let's see if I remember which button to do to interrogate this guy. Oh, he had intel on him. Oh! Because he was dead. Okay. <laughs> I could get intel on these guys. It means that he can be found nearby. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that I said was nearby in this area. Ishmash the... Ishmael's the friendly. That's a name. I already have his strengths and weaknesses. Which ones do I not have? I might as well learn about the guy who took this position. Blood Axe, huh? Lamlug Blood Axe. Is a, he has a lot more weaknesses than he does strengths. Good lord. Vulnerable to combat finishers, stealth finishers. He's clumsy. And vulnerable to mounted beasts. Alrighty. Fear of Caragors and Fear of Grogs. Savage Weapon. Uh, weapon inflicts. inflicts uh, deep Wounds. Summoner. Oh, great. And Regeneration. Fan friggin' tastic. Well, at least we know why he ended up taking that position in the first place. Okay. Now we could probably look for that other one that ran off that way. But, uh, considering that he went running off that way at quite a breakneck pace, I think it wouldn't necessarily be worth it. But, it might be. We'll at least give a cursory look at the nearby area. Nah, I'm not seeing him. I think he ran off. Ah, well. It's to be expected, you know, considering. Okay. And... Ishmaz. Ah. Ishmaz. Well, I was pronouncing it right. Good. Okay. Vulnerable to combat finishers and ranged attacks. So... I could easily take him out with my bow. Should I, you know, be able to get a good shot at him. Am I able to hear? No. Apparently not, but... Maybe you could throw a slave's head in the air, and our archers could turn it into a pin cushion before it even hit the ground. Got a spare All right, gonna around. let these guys go around. Go. Man, they are coming around everywhere, making this a little difficult. We're at a war chief talking. We're getting a bunch more shields and archers coming in. Just making sure there's none of them nearby. Okay, we're good. And I could possibly get the shot off here. And he's gone! Ha ha ha! Perfect. Fair enough, I will look into that. Oh, we got a new one for the bow. What is that? Aura of Dismay. 31% chance the unaware Earth near a headshot kill will pay. Oh, so got another uh, worm over here. Be thinking anything weak. Nothing to see inside my head except barrels and roll. Well, I mean, you could say that. Alrighty. I can get these guys to walk a little faster. Or, I can take out his little friend here and goodbye and grab him and oops I let go a little too early uh interrogate and give me my intel buddy there we go all right that that volume's a little loud I might need to turn that down a little bit so you're able to hear what the fuck I'm saying okay uh well, we got him dead. Uh, let's get the lower-ranked ones looked at. I can't, apparently, get the top five people up there, so let's get the lower ranks, at least, known. Nakra the Heartless, huh? Oh, and he's near the area I need to go anyway. All right. And mentally ranking various orcs in order of how much he'd like to skin them. Ooh. 
That's a, uh, that's a thing. Let's look at the details. Vulnerable to combat finishers, uh, stealth finishers, and mounted beasts. Fear of his rival becomes terrified near unknown captain. So, he has a rival, and he becomes afraid around him, but we don't know which one. It must be one of the higher-ups, because we know all the lower tier at this point. He's deadly, body slam, oh great. Uh, fast runner and humiliator. Refuses the killing blow for unworthy victims. Oh. That's rude. There we go. And you're gone. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that went a little better than expected. Oh, the head was still rolling. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. Oh, I've never been on a hill enough for that to happen. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, I think that's pipe weed. I can use that. Nope. Nope. Nifredale. Okay. Okay. Well, someone's not happy over here. That's for sure. Okay, can I maybe climb up? Yes, I can. A nearby artifact, huh? Didn't realize there was one nearby. Huh. Oh, uh, it must be that thing. Maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. It's equally possible. To be perfectly honest. There's something up here. Just don't know where it's at. Oh. This guy. Okay, well, let's oh, see if we can go around. Okay, of course, uh, when I move away, that's when he moves over to the other side. Fucking little shit. Alright. And now you're dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, that's one of them dead. Got another one here. Just make sure we know where any... Oh. I can pick up the artifacts. Whatever this is. Oh, it's always nice. Oh, alrighty. Something new. These artifacts hold memories of Mordor. Use L and R to look for the memory, then press X to reveal it. Press that to continue. Okay. Uh, that's a dead crow on a letter. The skies over Mordor are being cleared by fell beasts, the Hellhawk. Crows such as this poor fellow are hunted relentlessly, but not as food. No, crows are hunted because each of the oversized blackbirds are a potential spy, a messenger who might be carrying news to a master outside of Mordor. This crow met its doom trying to deliver a coded note. There's a memory point on it. Uh, it's hard to tell with the music. Yeah, it's really hard to tell because I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Am I supposed to... I have no idea. Because one would think I would have found it by now. If it's not... Oh. Oh. Oh! So that is the sound I'm supposed to be looking for. Alright. Play the memory. Here's what I saw. I told you the orcs are digging everywhere. Well, they've dug huge caves into the ground in the side of the hills and into the mountains where they do their work. Some of it's forges, and they got blacksmiths making armor and all kinds of weapons. They save on metal by making their armor for the front only. Like they're not planning on retreating anymore. Oh, and they got these huge pits too. Bigger than I've ever seen. They pull the new orcs, maybe a hundred or so a day. Some of them are those Urukai. You can tell them right away, because they've got a head or so on other orcs. They come out fighting, and immediately start bossing everyone else around. No one's the wiser about me spying. 
But don't send no more clothes. The other orcs might get suspicious. Well, apparently they did. Because <laughs> they killed this one and probably tried to kill you too. Alright. Well, at least I know how these sort of things work. Good to know. Oh, and we got other things as well. We got weapons and runes uh, for the bow. I could unlock it, but do I really want to for that little piddly thing I got? I'd rather leave it. I'd rather leave it alone. Upgrades. Let's look at that. Uh, I can apparently put a billet. Uh, no, I can't actually. Uh, attributes. That's the one I'm looking for. Because this I can up. At least the focus anyway. Yeah, I might do that. There we go. Perfect. Now I have enough focus time to actually do the arrow thing. Okay, and everything else I'll leave alone for now. Alrighty. Cool beans. They're tough and they're not stupid. We underestimated our enemies. They are forged for one purpose. To destroy the world of men. That's obviously true. Okay. There we go. Someone something said that going every on time here. There's a geyser, another thousand ghouls come up out of the ground. I heard they spawn from the mud whenever oh. it rains. Either way, they're easy enough to kill, so it don't really matter. Oh, okay. That's what I was looking for. That little thing down there. So, drop down. There we go. What is this? That's a question. Something that restores health. Pigs get stinking up for more. Blue milk. Ain't so bad. There's so many of them they don't even miss one if you're feeling like doing some torturing. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, that is a lot of rain over here. A lot of rain and a lot of mud. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and how weird this game is in some ways. <laughs> this is definitely different. Anyway, see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat playing games for you.